is going to be a grocery shopping vlog. Um, I just got back from California, so I literally have nothing in my refrigerator. So I thought now would be a good opportunity to show you guys um, what sort of groceries I buy to stay on a healthy plant-based, um, you know, medical medium sort of lifestyle. So yeah, I'm going to take you guys along with me, show you what I get. I only really have a couple things planned that I'm going to get, but We'll see what I end up throwing in my cart. I'm not sure. And um, because the grocery stores are kind of far away from where I live and um, I don't want to be grocery shopping all day and going to a million different stores, I might do it in two separate days. So yeah, now we'll see um, how I feel and what I have energy for and if I get hungry and stuff. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, I'll see you at the grocery store. <laughs> All right, so I'm outside of Costco right now, about to do my grocery store haul to show you guys what I get um, to eat on a plant-based medical medium lifestyle. Also, I will say that I am going to be doing a shortened sort of medical medium 28 day cleanse um, starting tomorrow. So yeah, it's gonna be geared towards like 28 day cleanse style eating uh so yeah so lots of raw fruits and vegetables and uh my first stop is costco so um yeah but i'll also be getting some stuff at a health food store that's nearby and um probably some stuff from the farmer's market but i may have to do that um another day let's go inside so one of the secrets of coming to costco is coming when nobody is here and then using the side aisles where nobody walks um, because look it's totally clear and <laughs> yeah so uh, it's awesome I just got done with Costco and I know not everything was organic but um, sometimes I make that sacrifice because produce is really really expensive here in Hawaii and um, <clears throat> it's a lot to afford. I try to stick to the clean 15 and the dirty dozen and when it comes to certain things um, you know I definitely stay organic like organic celery, organic apples, um, what else is on the list? Um, peaches, you know, whatever's on the list. Usually it's things where you eat the skin and, um, you know, pests can get to easily. And so they spray it a lot. So things like that usually are on the, uh, the dirty <laughs> side of the list. So, uh, you know, I try to stay away from the ones that are sprayed the most. Um, I know peppers is another one too. I'm not perfect with it and what I do is I will go home and wash it. Um, I've heard there are a couple different ways that you can wash um, non-organic produce um, and you know one way is you can do it with just you know water and baking soda soaking it and then another way that I've heard is you can use uh, fragrance free um, you know organic dish soap so Maybe I'll do that as well. Um, but yeah, I definitely make sure to wash them really, really good if they're not organic. And so yeah, like I said, that's the sacrifice that I make sometimes. Um, but like I said, the 
it's really expensive here and um, you know in order to be able to afford it that's what I just have to do sometimes so yeah so now I'm just waiting in line at Costco to get some gas and um, after that I'm gonna go to my favorite health food store natural food store it's called Island Naturals and that's where I get my celery and some other organic vegetables and maybe some fruits that they didn't have um, at uh, at Costco. So I will see you guys there. So that was actually really difficult um, filming while I was in the natural grocery store. I was carrying the little basket thing in my one hand and then in my other hand I had the camera and then I didn't have any more hands to grab the food. So um, I'll just show you now what I got from the natural grocery store. So here's my bag. I got a bunch of celery. I got this cool orange um, cauliflower because I I crave cauliflower like nobody's business. I love cauliflower so much. I got um, an onion, because I like to eat raw onion. Um, some of these beautiful um, orange tomatoes. And let's see, I got a couple of those. What else is in here? I got some lemons. And let's see, oh, I got a zucchini in case I wanna make I probably won't make zucchini noodles, um, but sometimes I like to use this to make like a low fat creamy dressing um, and just use this as a base. Um, so yeah, that was basically it. And here's just more lemons, tomatoes, and a whole bunch of celery. I'll probably have to go back there this week. Um, and then there is all of my Costco stuff. Um, so yeah, that's just what I've got. But anyways, that is what I have gotten for a, a week to a couple of days. We'll see how long it lasts. Some things may last longer than others because um, I might go through certain things quicker or I might have not gotten as much of certain things that I did other things. So um, yeah, like I said, it'll last me like roughly a week, maybe a little bit more, we'll see. And um, that is basically how I go shopping when I'm doing uh, medical medium protocols, um, specifically the 28 day cleanse. Now I will also say that I did not get a lot of fruit, um, but that is because I get a lot of fresh fruit here um, from friends or farmers markets and usually that's like bananas. I try to stay away from the papayas unless I know it's not the Hawaiian variety. Um, let's see, and just other tropical fruits that are interesting. Also, I didn't get a lot of fruit because I have a ton of fruit that is frozen in my freezer right now. I've got wild blueberries in there, cherries, uh, they're organic cherries. I have bags of frozen bananas. Um, I've got frozen grapes in there and frozen mango. So I am more than set for fruit and um, things like that. And plus I have tons of dates. Whew, sorry guys, the camera cut out there. But anyways, I just wanted to say goodbye and thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. And if there's any other kinds of videos that you would like to see, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. I always look at them. I might not always respond but I always do look and um, I really appreciate them. So yeah, feel free to leave a comment down below. And again, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Bye.